One sleepless night, young Bakir slowly got up from his bed and quietly tiptoed towards his father, Imam Sajjad's room. He turned the doorknob gently and peered in. As he peeked into the room, he saw his father in Tajda weeping quietly. He turned back quietly and closed the door behind him and waited a while. Then the boy climbed out of bed and again went to his father's prayer room. As he peered through the cracks in the door, he saw his father still in Sajda praying to Allah. The young boy couldn't sleep and so all night he would quietly go check on his father and each time he would see him in Sajda. When the little boy finally heard the Fajr Adhan being called outside, He excitedly jumped out of bed and ran towards his father's prayer room to perform the Fajr Salah with him. As soon as the prayer was over, his father went down into Sajda and began thanking Allah for all his blessings. The young boy tried to do just as his father was doing. However, he could not stay in Sajda as long. As his father finally came up from his Sajda, his son could not help but admire the mark on his father's forehead from where he was performing his sajda. After resting a bit, Mama Sajjad and his son, Imam Bakr, headed outside to begin the morning duty. As they walked through the bazaar, they could see kids laughing, animals chasing each other, and people talking and trading foods. However, on this day, the Imams also heard two men loudly fighting. As Imam Sajjad asked them, Why are you fighting? Each man began telling his side of the story, angry at the other. The Imam felt sad and did not like arguments between friends. So he stayed with them and helped them find a solution. The young Imam watched in amazement as he saw his father make the two men become friends again. When Imam Sajjad and Imam al Bakr arrived back home, Mama Sajjad went into his prayer room. Young Bakr waited patiently and then slowly walked towards the room and peered in. He could see that Imam Sajjad was in Sajda, thanking Allah for being able to help the two men at the bazaar. Years passed and Imam Sajjad was killed by the evil caliph. Imam al Bakr missed his father dearly and always remembered the special times they had spent together. Whenever his companions gathered around, he would tell them about his blessed father. One day a companion asked, Oh my Imam, why did they name your father as Sajjad? The Imam replied, They would call my father as Sajjad because he would do so much Sajda that sometimes his forehead would blister in the exact spot where he would place the turba. Anytime my father would think of all the blessings from Allah, he would go into Sajda, while he would read Quran during all the mustahib places of Sajda. He would go into Sajda. When my father would complete his prayer, he would go into Sajda. Even in the times he would help people become peaceful with each other again, he would go into Sajda. You see, my father would go into Sajda at any chance he could get and for these reasons. My father was called Sajjad the one who does a lot of sajda. The Imam continued, Sometimes when I couldn't sleep, I would follow as my father would wake up in the middle of the night and go to the Kaaba and do tawaf. He would hold on to the walls of the Kaaba and cry and cry. He would then go into sajda and cry so much that the floor below him would become wet with tears while everyone else was fast asleep at night. My father would be busy praying and supplicating to Allah. He loved talking, worshipping and praying to Allah so much that the wicked shaitan would become upset because he could not go near my father. Imam al-Bakr continued, One day shaitan was so upset by how much my father worshipped Allah that he decided to trick him 
he made himself look like a snake. When my father saw the snake, he immediately exclaimed, Go away, O cursed one! Shaitan was very shocked that Imam Sajjad recognized him right away. He wasn't able to trick him. Shaitan returned to his normal self and could do nothing but leave the house embarrassed. Then my father quickly went into Sajda and thanked Allah the Almighty for his help to recognize Shaitan. When the angels in heaven saw what happened to Shaitan, they were very surprised. One of the angels said, Indeed, Imam Sajjad is Zainul Abideen, which means the beauty of worshippers. Another name of my father that shows how much he loved to worship Allah. All the angels watching agreed and immediately began chanting, Ya Zainul Abideen, Ya Zainul Abideen, Ya Zainul Abideen.